What is up, my brothers from another mother? A good morning to you. It is early. It is still kind of dark. And the sun will be in my face. I want to do this video today on what the red pill is because we had so many questions from people in the comments. What's a red pill? What's this blue pill? I don't understand. All right. I think it's worth dedicating a small conversation to this. We'll try to get it done in the next 10 minutes or so. But, um, Simply speaking, the origin of the red pill, which I'll describe in a minute, is from the, um, it's, it's a classic scene from the movie The Matrix. I'm not going to embed the clip into the video because YouTube doesn't like that anymore and I've had videos removed. So linked in the description below, I'll show it to you. But if you don't have that on, you know, your mobile device or you watch this on a TV, I'll briefly describe it. All it is was that scene where Morpheus and Neo were sitting in that uh, room. It was very dramatic with, you know, lightning and, you know, thunder going off in the background. And he, he basically uh, offers Neo two options. You take the blue pill, uh, you go back to sleep, walking through your life. Everything is was it what it always was. And uh, you don't notice a difference. You take the red pill and you go down the rabbit hole and you basically see how far it goes and what the truth really is. Um, again, you know, just watch the link in the description below if you have this on a, a desktop or something, you can click right now. So what does that mean to me and kind of everybody else out there and how it's been adapted and, um, you know, been used? And there's, there's been a lot of different, um, labels or sorry the red pill has been slapped as a label in many different ways i should state actually uh we saw this documentary that came out a few years ago by cassie J called the red pill which really isn't what the red pill is um you know we've seen it used by other groups as well and it's not necessarily always being applied in its intention i think the intention was um the truth and all that all that the red pill is really designed to do, and it's, you know, it's a metaphor, it's you take this and you kind of wake up and you see everything as it truly is. Um, that's really all that it is. Um, the thing that brings most men to my videos, to the red pill community, to the red man group broadcasts that we're doing, um, to people that write in the manosphere um, as blogs, um, is usually some form of trauma. Something in a man's life is, uh, you know, a belief is completely shattered, um, and it can be anything from, you know, I thought women were sugar and spice and all things nice to we took our vows and said I do's until death do us part and she still went and banged the pool boy. Um, you know, to other things outside of that, you know, it applies to other areas in life, I believe anyway, where you just don't exclusively say, well, I've been red pilled sort of thing. And it's, it's just has to do with women and understanding, uh, you know, intersexual dynamics. I believe it has a lot more to do with life in general. Um, you know, when they tell you eat this or, or uh, scoop out this yogurt because it's fat free, but it's laden with uh, artificial sweeteners and all kinds of other things that aren't good for you. Um, you know, they've been broadcasting to you publicly, blue pilled, you know, if you will, eat this, you'll be healthy, slim and lose weight and look good. But the truth of the matter is when you're red pilled, you know, it's crap and it's not good for you sort of thing. So, um, it applies to many, many different areas in life. And when you, and when you wake up to the reality of the way that the world is, you know, it's mostly the mainstream media. It's mostly, uh, you know, the indoctrination system that we call schools, the elementary school system, um, which really just kind of programs people to behave in certain and, and act a certain way, um, to ways, uh, even, you know, it's even embedded in things like religion and other elements of our lives that essentially get guys results that aren't fulfilling, satisfactory, and don't lead them to a place of happiness and contentment. So there is, you know, there is no one thing or one descriptive term. I think if you ask, you know, 20 different guys, you'll probably get pretty close to 20 different answers depending on the lens in which they view things. But um, how I apply it to my life to kind of clarify to my channel, if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Richard Cooper. I help guys become better versions of themselves. I coach them through shit they're stuck on. Uh, that's what I do. I've been doing it for a few years now. Um, you know, it, it, it applies to so many different things. Money, the creation of wealth, business, entrepreneurship. I mean, once you, once you understand things as they are, not as you've been told they should be, then that's when I truly think that you've become red pill. And even still, I mean, I still feel like an apprentice. Uh, I don't feel like I've mastered anything. You know, a great book that I'm, that I'm going through right now, I haven't quite finished yet. It's, it's called Mastery by Robert Greene. And you know, this notion of the apprenticeship uh, phase, 
Um, you know, usually last seven years, 10,000 hours, depending on how you want to break it down and what that looks like. But I still feel like I'm an apprentice in this space to some degree, even though I've talked about it so much. I've put out like 500 videos. Most of them have been talking about things and, and, and uh, lessons that I've learned or even shared. Some of them hard, some of them easier. Um, and, I've, and I've coached hundreds of men now that have been stuck on things that didn't serve them. Um, before I wrap up, um, I think it's worth probably mentioning again. I've, I've mentioned it definitely before in my series, but I know this is probably going to bring you know some new people to this video as it's titled, you know, what is a red pill? Um, a lot of guys will kind of go through this phase in their life where um, their belief system shatters. Uh, it's, it's basically called like a safe world theory. And when that safe world theory that you have about certain things supposedly being true, and you adhere to those rules, which are supposed to get you the results, you know, be kind to girls sort of thing, and they'll love you just as you are. Well, how's that been working out for you sort of thing? You know, uh, you know, just be their friend. Um, again, you know, how's that been working out for you sort of thing? You know, have you been getting the results out of life that you want? And then when you realize that that, that, that safe world theory kind of shatters and, and falls apart, then you've got a few choices. I mean, you can keep subscribing to the medicine that hasn't served you. It hasn't gotten you the results that you wanted. You're not, you're not feeling happy in life or you can update your beliefs and, you know, sort of speak, take the, you know, take the new medicine, you know, take the red pill and say, th see things as they truly are. So when you see that comment in videos or people mentioning it, that's all that it is. It's not some magically woo woo cult or something like that, or somebody owns it or it's copyrighted by anybody. It just, it just is what it is. So, um, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but just understand that it has many uh, applications, but the underlying notion, the underlying truth of it essentially is seeing things as they truly are, removing the veil, the BS, the lies that you've been told, the sugar and spice and all things nice, uh, you know, notions, and you just accept things as they are. And, and, and once you can do that, as a man anyway, I find, you know, when I'm talking to these guys and coaching them, um, and even for myself, which I had to go through, you know, a lot of trauma a few years ago, you, you start to realize that you become more content, you're happy, you function better. I, I make more money now. I've got better relationships with people. Uh, I cut people loose that don't need to be in my life. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that typically end up happening when somebody updates their beliefs and become red pilled. So I'll leave it at that. I didn't want to ramble too long. I think that gets the point across. If you have any comments, post them below um, on what you think, you know, being red pilled is or what your interpretation is. I'd, I'd like to hear it. You know, I do read the comments as soon as I, um, you know, publish the video for the first day or so. So do that. Uh, also, you know, bang the notification bell. And if you haven't noticed, there's a new button below the subscribe button. It says join. If you want to support the creation of my work, Work. Um, I put out a little bit of a little bit of extra perks on the community tab of the YouTube channel now uh, for those that have uh, pledged to join and support the creation of the content on this channel. Um, you know, it's there. Uh, also, the website's up, entrepreneursandcars.com forward slash community. You can go there and get access to a private men's community where there's even more good stuff and access to a private Facebook page and so on. So, yeah, check those things out. Appreciate you guys watching the video today. And again, smash the like button, leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. Peace.